Hey guys, Group Long Way Back, I'm Aaron. I'm Shane. And we're here with our next movie reaction. This is gonna have the reaction highlight in it, but there will be the full length version available. You can check that down in the description below and or pinned comment, and it will link you back over to our Patreon and or website. And you can watch the entire movie along with us. Just make sure you have your own reference footage for that. Yeah, and now you gotta wait. It's a good way to support us, so we appreciate it. Joker, Joaquin Phoenix. Did you almost say Heath Ledger? No, no, no. Heath Ledger, great Joker. I love, I love that Joker. Yeah, how do you feel it can even compare? I don't know. Heath Ledger did such a good job. Him and Mark Hamill are like the Jokers. You know what I mean? I've heard people say this now is Joker to them. I mean, for me, I know, like, I, I've read a bunch of reviews, like, not spoiler reviews, just saying he knocks out the park, but he has the benefit of the movie being based on him. Like, mm. you know, he's getting more screen time I mean, than Heath Ledger. The one thing I know about this, yeah, it's based on him, and it's not like... Things I've heard is it's not like traditional jokery things. But it's, it's a also, mental health movie, from what I understand. <clears throat> so it sounds very interesting. Yeah. I've also heard you can't really compare. But I also heard, like, in terms of Jokers, it feels like Heath Ledger's Joker can be this Joker. In terms of, like, I don't know, the way he acts. Gotcha. So like it's, that. Not, it's like, you know, Heath Ledger's Joker is not Jack Nicholson's Joker. No, it's not. You know what I'm saying? It's but I, I haven't seen it. I have no idea. Yeah. Because I, I guess this is an origin story, so it has to humanize him. And Heath Ledger, you can't think. Like his saying was he told multiple versions of why he got the scars, so you couldn't humanize him. Yeah. I'm interested to see, like, once we're done with this, like, my thoughts of, like, okay, now after seeing this and we put this up against, like, Batman, you know, does it seem like a comparative kind of thing of that? Or is it going to be completely well, can this... sans Batman? There's no Batman in this universe. You got this Joker here. Who's... Well, can't, can't, yeah, but my thing is, like, can it... I, I, I figured it can be, but can it be that good if he doesn't have Batman to play off of? Yeah, like, like is Batman as good without the Joker? That's why Dark Knight is just one. I think one. I think it's the Dark Knight trilogy is like my favorite superhero movies ever, and that's after the Avengers movies too. So, yeah, I don't know. I love the Joker. So, can the Joker be good without Batman? Is that what you're asking? I mean, can he be as good? You know what I mean? With you know this. This unstoppable force meaning this unmovable object. Yeah. And now we here we and just have Dark one of, Knight talks about that a bit, right? Like well, yeah, I, they but, are good yeah. because of each other. Like Yeah, they're meant to do that forever. You know, so I don't know. I mean yeah, I, I don't know. There's all these reasons why I think this movie is gonna be better and all these movies why I think it can't be as good. Mm -hmm. Well I guess we should find out. We're gonna have to find out here. We're gonna be watching this. Um we're watching it off of Amazon because of digital stuff. Um Either it just came out or it hasn't came out yet for Blu-ray, so we don't have that option yet. So if you guys want to watch along with us, hopefully Blu-ray. But if it did just come out, we stuff. do have that option. Well, <laughs> no, we don't have it. It's not here. <laughs> yeah, we don't have it. If the, if the Blu-ray, hopefully it all matches up with the uh, the digital Amazon version that we're going to be watching. So we're going to start it on that right now. Who does he belongs in Kiss? You know Kiss? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think Gene Simmons like cut his tongue so he could st extend it longer. Apparently, he did. Supposedly, that was the rumor. I don't know if it's really true. I heard Marilyn Manson removed his ribs so he could suck his dick. I don't think that was. <laughs> Have you ever tried to do that? Like when you're little kids, impossible. No. By the time my dick got huge, you know, I didn't want to do it anymore. <laughs> Jeez. Fuck, he's, he's, like doing, he, he's like doing it so hard, yeah. So he's already a clown. I guess. That is, I don't know what. Why is he painting his face? I mean, you see, there's clowns walking around in the background, right? The fat one. Okay. Why? It's a little fox. See, I'm. See, that's why I'm gonna get arrested one day. I have no qualms about chasing out little kids and beating their ass. Fuck my kids. Dude, what the fuck, man? At least rob them, right? All I did was just kick them. Dude, if I've ever done anything close to that, I've robbed somebody, and there's always someone deserved it. <laughs> What the hell? Is he yeah, I think he's practicing. Hope my death makes more sense than my life. I just hope my death makes more sense than my life. Is he so bothering my kid? I wasn't so bothered. Just stop. <laughs> Don't you think that's funny? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's laughing like some kind of masking of pain or... Yeah, it's a mental condition. Sadness or something. This is God like the 80s, right? The TV looks older. I don't know about 80s. Might be 90s. Further back than that, right? I, I don't know. Like 70s? Maybe. 
If it's black and white, excuse me. Have a narrow. I mean, they're watching black and white. <laughs> That's so weird. I don't know. Seems weird for Robert De Niro. Oh, what? Got a great looking audience. His laugh, man. No seriousness. I mean, these guys. I love you too. I'm that kid whose father went out for a pack of cigarettes, and he never came back. I know what that's like, Murray. He's a good guy. I've been the man in the house for as long as I can remember. I take good care of my mother. Yeah, I don't know. Could it be a dream? Seems like some very nice stuff. Yeah, I think it was all in his head. Oh, man. What's he giving him? What is it? Take it. Brass knuckles. It's for you. Her jingling. Money, brass knuckles, rugs. <laughs> you gotta protect yourself out there. A gun? Jeez. Otherwise you're gonna get sucked. Do you people call it miniature golf, or is it just golf? <laughs> <laughs> Punch in the dick. <laughs> Dude, that's disturbing. Hey. She, you know, that could have been a lot worse. Yeah, I guess so. He should not have that. Dude, he's so fucking. Oh, he didn't shoot himself. Skinny and weird. <laughs> I hate people playing with guns. I hate it so much. Yeah, dude. Me too. Growing up with like my dad and stuff, you always took care of the gun the way it's supposed to be taken care of, you know? Yeah. I hate watching someone do something you shouldn't be. <laughs> oh, please don't shoot something. Fucking Randall. <laughs> oh, dude, and he's fucking like. He's like freaking out. Right now. What's so fucking funny? Oh, what the fuck, dude? Dude, where's the gun at? Just kick. <laughs> These are just like the kids, man. There it is! Jeez! Oh, good lord! Dude, get that fucking little oh, Peter. Oh, jeez, oh, man. Dude, this is a fucking. Alright. Oh. This is like an incredible scene, I have to say. Like him trying to calm down. I felt like he just performed an act. Oh. All right. I can't believe he had a. Never mind. That's gonna be the confidence to do that, but he's also kind of crazy. I forgot to punch out. <laughs> he's starting to crack, man. Those of us who. Made something of our lives. We'll always look at those who haven't. It's nothing but clowns. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I don't, I wouldn't say it like that. Yeah. Because sometimes, man, you're born in the fucking bad position, dude. You're dealt the cards. You're dealt, and you gotta make the best of them. For my whole life, I didn't know if I even really existed, but I do. And people. Starting to notice. Because shot someone. Of the bad things he's done, people yeah. are noticing. Has he ever done stand up? He hasn't, right? No, I can't watch this shit. I'm so worried. Oh my it's god. Be... I don't like awkward shit, man. <laughs> oh, okay. Does it make people laugh now? I don't know. Smile. <laughs> 
Alright. Okay. Thank God. I feel better. I'm like, man, it's gonna be, I don't wanna be so so cringy and it doesn't go well. You think the guy then did it as a hero? Three less pricks and got the thing. Only a million more to go. But how would she feel if she knew it was him that did it, you know? Oh, jeez. But there's mask in the dark night. So he's creating this movement. The clowns. Vigilante clowns? This is a, Robert De Niro, I was gonna say, it's kind of a weird role for him when he came out. He's like doing that spin thing, but yeah. he's also in like Meet the Parents and stuff, which is kind of some weird stuff he did. Yeah. Oh, your, your son? Your son! Oh, God. It's either, it's either true, or Penny's also crazy, and that's just what she believes, you know? Well, it'll be one of those things where we don't. Oh, shit! Wait, is that Bruce? <laughs> Fucking Batman. This is like an incredible scene, dude. What's your name? I'm Bruce. <laughs> <laughs> That's They're fucking mortal enemies, man. In a world where everyone thinks they can do my job, we got this videotape from Popo's Comedy Club right here in Gotham. Oh. Here's a guy who thinks if you just keep laughing, Oh, God, no. Check out this Joker. I thought it went well. Maybe it did after, but they're... <laughs> the Arthur is not what you think. Everyone laughed at me. Well, no one's laughing now. You can say that again, pal. I can't watch this shit, dude. If I was at home, I'd stop watching. Right. I'm joking. I hate this shit. <laughs> Dude, the Joker does that kind of stuff all the time, you know? Yes. I'm sorry, I just showed up, but my mother told me everything, and I had to talk to you. Look, pal, I'm her. not your father. <laughs> What's wrong with you? <laughs> he, seems, he seems like kind of a jerk. You think this is funny? <laughs> I get that. Kind of. I don't oh. think he was a jerk considering, well, he, you know, him coming to his house, touching the sun. I get that shit. Sorry. <laughs> no, man. Come on, man. Oh! He slammed his head into that grate. I love the way he runs, dude. It's so crazy. She seemed very shocked. So she wasn't in the elevator just now. No, that was a memory. Oh man, it's all been fake. Yep. She was never there. No. I used to think that my life was a tragedy. Oh, oh no. It's a fucking comedy. He's fucking killed her. I mean, in real life, I think it's fucking people be rushing in. But. In, and they bring her back to life real quick, in though. In real life today? I mean. I. I what was this? <laughs> ah! It was the most disturbing thing in the whole movie. That's because the suspect was a regular sized person. This is a fucking midget. You'd be in jail right now. <laughs> That's so mean. Dude. I just want to know what you said. Make sure our stories line up. Seeing this out on No, head. don't kill him. You have to kill the little to... guy. Oh, oh, God. God. What is he going to do? Look at him. He...
See that poor little person, man. Is that what you say, little person? Oh no, he's gonna kill him. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, he can't get out. You jump your ass up there and do it. Come on, buddy. Get out of Would you say anything to anybody after this? I don't know, man. After he let you go? I mean... Ah! <laughs> hey. Hey, wow. Is that gonna show up? Oh, the memes. Here's the steps. <laughs> oh shit! Why do you got the gun? No! Dude, they're gonna kill these cops. Uh, Murray, one small thing. Yeah. When you bring me out, can you introduce me as Joker? Well, if you say so, King, you know, Joker it is. It's good. Thanks, Murray. Alright. Honestly, like, when you make fun of someone the way he did, like, it's, it's a terrible thing, like, obviously, but, like, you don't think about how it affects people. He probably doesn't remember that shit, and he honestly probably didn't really mean to be that mean. Well, yeah. Like, it's just... Oh, man, it's like, I've said some shit I shouldn't have said, because I thought it was funny, and I just forget about it. Yeah, but you never know how it affects the person involved. That's why you gotta anything, be you know? careful. So please welcome Joker. Keep moving. He flick his cigarette? Yeah, the curtain. Who catches fire? <laughs> I'm just trying to make people laugh. And how's that going for you? See that laugh, man. The laugh. Dude, that is so weird. I know you're a comedian. You've been working on any new material? You want to tell us a joke? Knock, knock. Who's there? It's the police, ma'am. Your son's been hit by a drunk driver. He's dead. Oh, no, 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 you cannot joke about that. Yeah, that's not funny, Arthur. That's not the kind of humor we do on this show. Okay, I was, you know. Lord, Aaron. It's just, you know, killed those three Wall Street guys. Oh, shh. Yeah. Aaron. <laughs> Can't do this shit. Oh. Okay, I'm waiting for a punchline. There is no punchline. It's not a joke. You think men like Thomas Wayne ever think what it's like to be someone like me? I mean, there's so much self pity, Arthur. You sound like you're making excuses for killing those young men. Not everybody, and I'll tell you this, not everyone is awful. You're awful. Yeah, you're awful. Me? Ah. awful? Oh, yeah, how am I awful? How about another joke, Ray? No, I think we've had enough of your jokes. What do you get? I don't think so. When you cross I think a mentally ill loader with a society that is banned and thinks I'm like trash! All the police, I'll geez. tell you what you get! All the police! Get what you fucking deserve! Oh, jeez! Fuck! People still here? Good night. And always remember. That's how oh, fucking kind of music you gonna play like that. Dude, does he start the downfall of Gotham? Gotham, you know what I mean? Isn't it beautiful? Oh shit! Oh fuck. Leaving the theater, there's the pearls. Man, the way it connects him now. Yeah, right. He's gonna do his dance. Yeah. <laughs> this is so fucking crazy. What's so funny? Jeez. <laughs> I 
You look at his footprints. Did he beat the fuck out of her? Or it's just symbolism. Yeah, I don't know. You know what I mean? Yeah, I think. Is that an art decision or did he literally like? Yeah, yeah I don't think they kill him and walk out. Yeah, I was gonna say, it'd be funny if he ran back to the left. Yeah, dude, he must have killed that woman. Jesus. I don't know what to say, really. Hog. <sighs> it's hard to feel good about a movie like this. You just let it, but it's just supposed to affect you, and it certainly did. Yeah. Like, I get, like, I get the praise for it. Yeah, it's, it's certainly incredible what you made. And it's also... And well, you know, and Heath led, I mean, Walking Phoenix was yeah. just amazing. Yeah, and, like, as, as like film-wise, you know, shots and stuff they did. And yeah. It has, like, an artistic flair to it a bit. Certainly artistic sensibilities. You know, who had Todd Phillips, that's his name? The yeah, director. the director, I think. I don't know what else he's made, but geez, Louise. Yeah, I don't even know what to say. It's just, I mean, it's a, it's it's a mental health movie for sure. No, because that's what I kind of heard. I definitely feel that way as yeah. well. Yeah. I mean, it touches on a lot of those subjects. I mean, not just him. You know, his mom. Yeah. You know, like was he? There was that one line where she said about like you know I never heard him crying. He was always just such a happy little boy. Like, did he laugh before? Because he had a mental condition, and she didn't know anything about it. Did he develop that because of the abuse? I'm sure it didn't help. And stuff, you know, like, did he have something beforehand, or was was the abuse the cause of what happened to him? You know. Yeah. So, do you think there's any truth into what she said about Thomas Wayne? Yeah. I don't know. They might have had something, but both of them are dead now. But he, it, there was the adoption papers and everything too. But then she also was like, you know, that Thomas Wayne was covering it up. I don't know. I mean, it's a possibility too, with like. You know, people who have money and being able to try to cover things up much easier than the people who don't have money, you know? Yeah, no, for sure. What do you think of Thomas Wayne in this movie? Like, I don't want to say he's a jerk. I mean, I don't think he should have said on TV. I mean, there's a lot of things people say when they don't really think about it. Mm -hmm. It makes them you just seem like a jerk. I, I definitely, the way, the, with like the interaction between him and Arthur in the bathroom, I, I, I get why he was the way he was. Like, I might have laid my hands on him sooner if I know he was, you know what I mean? But the idea of, like, these people are just clowns, and, you know, he calls everyone clowns, and then... Yeah. He, he, between him and Arthur, like, they kind of create the movement together. Like, with what he did, mm -hmm. killing the people on the train and everything, and then people calling him, like, a vigilante hero and things like that. And then Bruce, he propagated uh, Thomas, Thomas Wayne, like, pushing that subject a little bit more from the rich perspective. He mythologized it, almost. It kind of really pushed it in the, in the ways it shouldn't have gone, you know? <clears throat> yeah, I mean, I was just, yeah, it's emotional. I was going to say I feel bad for Colin fucking, what's his name? That fat bastard. Randy? Yeah, Randall. I felt bad at first, and now that I know all the pain he caused, I don't feel as bad. Calling him name, or calling the other guy. The concept having of having a little Peter, because, dude, I mean, I mean, here's the thing, like, you know, I, I got a bunch of, friends who work in the field, you know, our buddy, you know, that we know, mutual buddy, uh, you know, and it's like the more they learn about it, the more it seems like if you were the same person, raised the same way with all the same choices, you might not be that much different. You know what I mean? I mean, yes, you're still responsible. I mean, because you're holding the gun, but like, you know, like, uh, you know, you're like talking about the, nature versus nurture. You're talking about the dealing of cards, what you have. Yeah. Like someone who grows up with money. Yeah. Like Bruce Wayne. Or just grows up in, with his life. Like, yeah, I mean, there's versus, people without money who are, yeah. don't do that. Yeah, I mean. Yeah, no, I mean, that's the thing, too. Is like He was obviously predisposed to some mental health. The thing. mental health here definitely doesn't help. But, yeah. I mean, there's also, like, there's lots of people that have come out of nothing, you know. And they, and, yeah. And, and, and didn't let it get them down and became, you know. Yeah, like Murray, for instance, he, he said that he made it seem like that he might have been that type of guy, might have been that type of person. Oh, maybe that was in a dream too. Though. Or yeah, maybe he dreamed that. I don't know. Because that was, that was in a dream thing when he's like, you know, I came from a you know dad who walked to go get cigarettes and never sh showed back up. You know. Yeah. So I don't know if. And I believe that Thomas kind of Wayne idea. is a sh like a self-made man, from what I understand. I don't know. Yeah, maybe. I, I, that's I mean, I don't know how it is in this this iteration too. Can be yeah. very different, like the. The Thomas and the Alfred, like, all of them seem a bit different than mm -hmm. what I've seen in other iterations. And then, like, 
the idea here that Gotham City, you know, Gotham City didn't seem, it seemed a little crazy. You know, they talk about it in the beginning, it's a little crazy. Yeah. But then it seems like because of, like, the Joker pushing what he did, Gotham becomes what it is because of Joker really pushing it, and then the people riot and go crazy and start burning things down. And, and, and it was the origin story of Batman. Yeah, you get, I mean, you get Bruce Wayne seeing, like, you know, my, the town, the city went to, to crap. And then he had to rise up to become something darker and yeah, man. scary enough to emotional. take it on. What's wrong with me? <clears throat> well, just the story of Batman in general, seeing his parents die and just being so... like He's literally insane as well. He just focuses it on, you know, beating the hell out of people all night. You know what yeah. I mean? He does not in the name of justice, but he's just in so much pain. You know? Yeah. Now I would say, like, uh, Joaquin Phoenix, did, I think he did a really good job as far as his... Acting of the Joker, yeah, the yeah, trail of things, and do they how skinny he got, you know, mm-hmm. like the, the the laughter thing he did, like his like <laughs> thing, like it was very uneasy. It was, but it was, I don't know, I really like that a lot. He's like, you know, like you talk about when the gun fell at the hospital, like, yeah, that, <laughs> you know, like he's like, <laughs> but no, I don't. He, he had the, that cracked me up. He had man. some funny moments in there but then I also felt like man this guy is you know he has issues and yeah I mean you feel honestly like I mean did you did you I, I pretty much spent the whole movie feeling bad for him and under you know and and not being like okay he's going too far I mean that's the trap of the movie because you're on this journey and you yeah, understand him so much your protagonist is not saying antagonist yeah of the world. like with me in my mind now I would say like I would never kill anybody you know what I mean like the way he did and why he did it, you know what I mean? Yeah. But like when you're watching, you go, okay, I get it. Like, First was self defense, and then he got fucking freaked out when he chased that guy down. That moment like, there, yeah, I was like, okay. I can imagine maybe anyone being in that situation, but then yeah. like celebrating it, you know, and silence yeah, saying like it was a joke, you know. But there by the end of it, you know, like the yeah, the, but the death is funny, and I think he was, yeah. I mean, yeah, I think he kept being driven to that point. You know, and then uh, he—I mean—he obviously needed medicated before all this went down. Yeah, and he, he said got he got so much taking abuse it. when he was younger. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. But he said he stopped taking his medication, which could have been because of the social funding and stuff. You know, sh- social yeah. work. Now that you mention um, it, maybe it did say something about brain damage because he had a neurological condition, right? But it, maybe it said something about brain damage. Well, they said that because he was like, tied to the radiator, you know, his body was bruised and his head was yeah. bruised. Yeah. So, so yeah. If if the card said it could have been a brain damage thing, then yeah, it could have been. This was all triggered strictly from the abuse, because of whatever you know the boyfriend was doing or whatever. Yeah, <clears throat> but it's terrible. Penny did work with or for Arthur for years, thirty years ago, when he was adopted. So he's like in his thirties, and Bruce is probably like twelve or whatever. I'm trying to like, in my head, I'm trying to think. You know, if he becomes Batman like ten years from now, like starts becoming Batman. 10, 15 years from now, how old is the Joker? Yeah, I mean, so if he's like 20 and the other guy... because yeah, the Joker here seems kind of old, right? He's supposed to be like in his mid-30s, think. it looks like. He was adopted. Is that you think? Okay. 30, he was, yeah, 30 years ago when all this was going down and he and he was adopted. And then, you know, and he was a child and he was young enough not to remember some of the stuff. Yeah, I mean, even though he's abused, he might suppress some of it, obviously, but hmm. I don't think he was 12. You know what I mean? He's probably like 3, 4, 5, 6... Um, if, if, you know, there was a cover-up, the idea that the Joker and Batman are brothers, or half-brothers, is, like, a interesting concept. It really is. You know? And I, I, and I like the fact that they would never know that. You yeah. Know, they don't really need to, but it's kind of a... If you have it there as, like, a kind of lore thing, it's like, you know, they could be, they couldn't be. And even still, like, with all this, like, you don't... The way they do this, you still don't really know who the Joker is. Because he also would have been adopted by someone else. So, like, why? Like, who were his parents before? And what was his name? Did he have a name before he was adopted? You know, was he always Arthur uh-huh. or anything? <clears throat> like, there's some... Because some people are like, I don't want to know who he is or where he's from. You know, I like him having, like, nothing. No background. Not being, um... Oh, Jack Napier, right? Wasn't that the, um... The one from the Batman, uh... uh Tim Burton movies? Wasn't like Jack Napier or something? I don't know. I haven't seen this forever. I don't know. The, just some of the concepts and stuff they give with this. I like seeing his, like, slowly, like... He slowly unravels. It, it's slowly happening. Like, man, where's the point where he's going to crack? And I think the point of him cracking was... It was shooting the people, you know? That's when he was like, man, killing people. 
I feel like, alive. I feel like I'm exist. Existing, the existing thing. And I, yeah. and, I, and I see it in the paper. People are rec- like noticing him. Mm-hmm. Dude, the one question I really have is what happened to the, Sophie? Yeah. Like, they, they had him in her apartment, and he did the thing, and then it just cut out of there, and then we went somewhere else, and he was laughing. But I don't know, like... Did he do something and hurt them at all? Did he just go there because he had no one else? Did he end up leaving? Like, she wasn't mean to him, you know? No. And he was nice to Gary. But he also told Gary, you're the only person that was ever nice to me. I'll tell you what. It's mean, but the Gary stuff cracked me up, man. <laughs> they didn't talk to me. God, my it's because you're fucking short. My favorite part was like, go ahead. Go ahead, Gary. I'm not going to hurt you. And he goes around and says, ha! And then he runs to the door, and he, he can't unlock the door. He's, like, jumping. No, he didn't jump, man. He should have jumped, man. That's like, he could have. I don't think he could have, man. You had to... You had to jump, like, three or four times. Dude, my kids do then it. He has to ask, my kids do it to my door. Then he had to ask this murderer, can you let me out? You know? So, I'd be afraid, like, ah, oh, shit. I don't yeah. want to bother him, you know? Yeah, I don't want to fuck it. You let me go, I don't want to say like, anything else to him. Open that door the best you can just try to slide through that crack, you know? Oh, man. That'd be, that'd be, I don't know what I'd do. That was a brutal murder, man. Jeez. <coughs> yeah, it was. The Randall guy? Yeah, dude. He said he owed him. Yeah, and there's pricks on the train, man. They shouldn't be killed, but I... Like, now, yeah. I can see... The, 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 that's self-defense I can see up the until the last part. one. The, the first couple shots, they're kicking him and stuff, you know? Like, they could go too far and kill this guy as well, you know? Yeah. So, I mean, it could fall into the self-defense category but he, he chased down the one guy who was shot limping away and killed that guy yeah like there's like a claire blood trail you know shot in the back shot multiple times but i mean you can also say like hey you're emotional you were scared for your life your adrenaline's pumping yeah. that's a real thing too i wonder you know if there's also the idea too of like you let this guy like this guy goes and he's some rich guy and you're just some mental ill poor guy yeah, you but know. they also might say he's fucking nuts. and Yeah, I imagine like the Joker may still go to prison or whatever because of this situation. Yeah. Which maybe he should, maybe he shouldn't. I don't know. That's when it goes to a jury. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, All I have are negative thoughts. Yeah, just that, you know, living that type of life, I, you know, I couldn't imagine going through that. So I can't wonder. I couldn't begin to really contemplate you know, how terrible that would be, mm-hmm. you know? And then you have, obviously, social services, funding getting cut, and... The people like that, they don't get the help they need, unfortunately. Yeah, and they don't have the money to do it. Yeah. And you're getting blamed for stealing a sign. Yeah. Why the hell would I steal a sign? I don't know why the fuck people do what they do. Just get the fucking sign back. You know, show the bruises on your back, bro. Yeah. Everyone else knew about it, man. I heard about you getting yeah. all beat up. Yeah. Getting giant bruises on his back. What do you think when Arthur met Bruce? Did not like the shoving his thumbs into his mouth and making I didn't love it. It just, I thought it was a good scene. Yeah. I thought it was a cool scene that he... You know. Dude, the, the thing when he's like there and then he goes down and comes back up and he just has a fucking red nose on. Mm-hmm. Like, I was like, Jesus, man, I'd not go anywhere near that. Yeah. <laughs> some, some weird clown guy. You know, Alfred there and then he starts like choking Alfred too and then he just runs away. Yeah. And his run was just so like erratic. I don't know how to describe it. You know, like, just. It's just. It's so wide. Like, Oh, yeah. Everywhere. And he was kind of like that. You know what I'm saying? They did have a thing talking about like the super rats and stuff, and I'm pretty sure on the news it mentioned Pied Piper, which I believe is like a villain in, oh. the, in the DC universe. Okay. But it also is like a story, so I don't know what they were. I just caught it like more in the subtitles because they were talking between the TV and then Arthur and Penny, and they were all kind of talking about stuff, so I kind of missed some of it. I just caught Pied Piper, so I didn't know if it was like a nod to something else. It was just more of like an old story, you know, like an old fairy tale. The Pied Piper, like leading the rats away. Yeah, I would say that this is not like a superhero or a supervillain really movie. Like, I don't feel like it's just this, you gotta be a comic book fan at all to enjoy this movie. Yeah, no. I can anybody, anybody could watch this movie. Yeah, it's just, it was, it was great. It was unbelievable. Yeah, I had to wait a long time to see how I feel about it years later, how it compares to Heath Ledger's Joker. I mean, they're both amazing. Yeah. There, I mean, there's much more material here for Walking Phoenix to, to work with. Well, you're not splitting the movie in half for, like, Batman and Joker. Yeah. You know, you, you're given... Even though, like, every time he's there, he's taking yeah, the scene. Yeah, in Dark, yeah, he was just chaos in, in, in Dark Knight. And here, like, you, you see it all, how it became that way. <clears throat> but, yeah, I think... And it's done so well. You could take this and almost apply it, I feel like, to Heath Ledger 
and see why he's like it's funny you know I've, I've grown up now and like the, the killing and the this and that and it kind of can lead into this chaotic like this is fun you know chaos is great and yeah I don't know I mean, I think I could enjoy this as a prequel to the Dark Knight movies. I gotta obviously, I know Heath Ledger and Christian Bale are about the same age, but I think I can suspend it a little bit. And... Yeah, I mean, I know it's not tied to anything. You know, it's all on its own. But yeah, if you want to be like, you know, like, what is the Joker's origin? Like, maybe you have this, and like, this could be like that origin. Just maybe alter a few things. Yeah, although but... fucking Alfred's much different. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Dude, some of the shots, I, I, I like. Like, throughout the beginning, like, half of the movie, they kept showing him, like, going upstairs. Like, they showed those those one sets of stairs, and, he, and they showed it, like, two or three times of him having to go up those and stuff. And mm. it felt like every time they showed steps, he was going up them, like, climbing. Yeah. And then, once we hit the point when he, like, lost his job, like, from then on, they only showed him going down He's steps. descending. Yeah. Like, like descending in the... Like, he was trying like to climb... metaphorically out, and literally. Like, he was trying to climb out of this this pit of like mental illness and depression and everything and trying to be normal but then he just descended into madness you and know? then at the very end he was like cel- cel- celebratory yeah you know I mean yeah he's like celebrating going down the stairs he's celebrating his descent into madness when I was looking down I'm thinking that's a stunt like you could slip and fall and die <laughs> I kept looking like man he's got these big ass feet you know what I mean like yeah like he's dancing and kicking you could easily fall down those fucking fall. stairs and then the other thing I like too is like the, the bookmarking or the book bookends like not the very first thing we see of him, but like almost the very first thing is him like sitting there with that social worker and he's just laughing. And it's a really long time that he's laughing too. Yeah, they really took their time on those shots. Mm-hmm. It made you feel just long enough to make you really feel uncomfortable. Yeah. And then like you have that and then you they bookend it with like him in what I'm assuming is Arkham. I don't know where else it would be. Mm-hmm. Like laughing and doing the same thing in this meeting with this doctor lady he has there. You know, like, it's all the way to him, like, I don't know, like, he, he was being chased and beaten in the very beginning, and then maybe he was, you know, he was being chased there, but I think it was after he had beaten that woman. You know, I, I, I don't know what else happened there, because he came walking out in the white and just those blood footprints. Yeah. Like, I just feel like this, it's just that mix of chaos and, like, where he was to what he became, and they just have a lot of, like, I don't know. Similar imagery, just like once you get here, it's flipped. We did, we still had the same. I thought we were gonna have the killing, maybe by Joker or something. I wasn't sure for Thomas mm-hmm. Wayne and Martha. Yeah, but you proposed an idea that I embraced as a theory. That he like, that he causes as a result of like this riot and all this yeah, stuff. Yeah, like the that. Joker movement <laughs> causes it. Yeah, you know I mean, and Thomas Wayne is somewhat indirectly responsible for it as well. That's really cool. Dude, when he when it, when they were t- that scene when he steals uh, his mom's file from Arkham, that that just fucking made me tear up thinking about him doing that, and now he is the way he is, you know. And you can't help that, you know. Well, that conversation there too, like I felt the clerk that was there, mm-hmm. like being talked to by the Joker and being like, you know, I did some bad things, but I feel good about it. Mm-hmm. Like he just kind of like, and yeah, then he know. reads the file and he's like, Shh, bro, you got to talk to somebody. <laughs> yeah, he's like, I can give you this. Now, I'm just a clerk, man. You you. Can- Find some help. And he probably saw the adoption shit, too. And he's like, okay, well, I can't show you this, you know? Yeah. It just, it felt like, so many scenes just, it felt awkward, you know? Yeah. It felt awkward, or it felt cringy, or it felt like this isn't how it's supposed to be. And But you also kind of feel bad enough for him to where you're rooting for him a little bit. It's yeah. like It's not like he's this cringy person and you don't want to see him. It's I... like, you want him... To, you want him to heal. In the very he beginning, he, he just, just wants, gets worse. He just wants people to laugh and smile in the very beginning, you know? He's got dreams, you know, but the, the system makes it impossible for him to accomplish his dreams. But, you know, how do you fix a system? I don't know. And then that just makes with the, you know, I like, I like the line that they had where it's like the joke, I guess, he wrote. That was the, the problem with mental illness is like everyone expects you to behave as if you don't have mental illness, you know? Yeah. Which is, I, I feel like that's fairly true with most of society. Like, some people, like, will try to, like, not make a big deal about anything, but they suspect you to act the way society suspects you to act, regardless of, like, what issues you have. Well, you we're know? conditioned to, I mean, you and I are old enough to, like, we know how to act, and when we see something that's not acting that way, it stands out so much to where it makes everyone comfortable, and, 
you know, but should we, should these people be forced to act like everyone else, you know? Yeah. I don't, I mean, I don't think so. But <coughs> obviously, if I was on a bus and someone's fucking my kid, I'd be, I'd probably, I might be rude, you know, until I knew what was going on. But I don't know, man. Well, and then the thing, too, like, the, the train thing. Like, those guys messing with that woman, like, to the point of the Joker just laughing. But then they st- stopped messing with the woman, started focusing on this guy who's acting weird. Yeah. But I feel like that, if something weird like that happens, I just ignore it. <laughs> I just don't acknowledge it. Because if some other person was sitting there and they weren't doing anything, I would ignore them and not acknowledge them either, you know? Like, That's what I try to do. <laughs> when something crazy happens, I always go, I just, I just don't care. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I, I I don't like staring at people at all. And I don't like someone realizing that I'm staring at someone. Oh, I almost hate that even more. You know, even, even I had the urge to stare. They saw me. Yeah, I guess you know. Sorry if anyone was offended. I called those guys, you know, fucking Peter faces or whatever. But dude, like they were pricks. You know, well, so I got a little emotional there. Um, uh, so maybe I shouldn't have. That's what Sophie said too. You know, not real Sophie, but dream Sophie. But I guess one less prick in the well, world. Well, he creates this woman to empathize with him because no one else does. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So he, he, because he doesn't have it anywhere. He, you know, people, like he said, they pass him in the street, they don't care. If he was dying on a sidewalk, from his point of view, no one would care. They walk right over him. He tells the, the social service uh, lady, hey, like, you don't, you don't care. And she, you know, like, you don't listen to me. No one listens to me. And she said, hey, they don't give a shit about you. They don't give a shit about me. Like, he created this woman to empathize with him. It's sad, you know? Man, even her last time there, like, she didn't listen to him. Yeah. yeah, like like he kept on trying to like you're not listening. Well, at like, that I just point, said I, this and this. You're like, Man, at, fuck it. <laughs> at that point, you know you're losing your job. It's like you got radio shack. You want to steal? Steal. Fuck it. They don't want me out of my den. You know what I mean? <laughs> Fucking Randall. Dude, man, that guy. Like you know, Randall said you tried to buy his thirty eight off him. I was like what, what the fuck, dude? What do, what do you get out of this? Yeah, more dude. jobs or something? What? Like, well, he can't take all the clown jobs. And I can take the clown jobs. Like. There's not enough clown business in the, in the city. Yeah, dude. That, I mean, like, the boss said, hey, the guys don't like you. You make them uneasy. I think they just fucking, they don't understand he's they got a mental health illness. Right. And they just think, yeah, they're just being a little, they're just being fucking pricks, man. Dickheads. I guess so, yeah. It goes with that idea of, like, they expect you to act normal. Even though with mental illness. Yeah. Like, Randall acted like he was his friend, I guess, and then turned on him. And then he just showed up there to, like, figure out what they said to make sure he wasn't going to get in trouble for his gun, you know? Yeah. It's like, well, hey, you know, what'd you tell the cops? I told me it was your gun, you gave it to me, I'm a, I have a mental illness, and you shouldn't have done that, it's his fault. <laughs> yeah. That's all he came there for. Yeah, it's weird because I, I felt like he was he was on, a, he was already on the knife's edge, mm-hmm. and if he was nudged at certain pivotal points in the story, if different he was directions. nudged, just nudged in different directions, you know, it, it wouldn't have been so tragic. Like if he would have really had Sophie, maybe. You know, like, he went there because he had no one to yeah. talk to. She's like, you know, can I call someone to, for you or to talk to? Or if he never you? got the gun. Like your mother, you know? Yeah. But he didn't have his mother anymore. Yeah. But if he had Sophie, that could have helped. Yeah, maybe even not having the gun, but... If like, he what didn't if have that gun, was a catalyst? What, if he didn't have that gun, though, what if he would have just gotten kicked to death on that train? I don't know if I got kicked to death. Yeah, I mean, I think... I don't know. When I've been real messed up before and I've gotten a fight, I know when enough's enough. Yeah, you know I mean? And I'm still hyper aware of, like, what if I kill... What if I punch this guy... Falls and breaks his neck and I go to prison. You know what I mean? So I'm like, I don't know. I've seen people who are messed up, fight, and they get pulled off each other, but I don't think anyone wants to kill anyone normally. You know what I mean? Yeah, I guess. I guess but, so. yeah. I, I don't know. I mean, even if, yeah, I guess him dying in that train would probably be a better outcome, unfortunately, than everyone else dying and the movie yeah. being started. And Man, those cops who were, like, so close to stopping him and catching him and stuff, too. Yeah. And then, like, all those clowns just fucking, they took him out just fucking... Start punching them, man. Critical condition. That's what I'm, yeah, that's what I'm saying, man. They could still die. They could, yeah. Like that could, that could have been also him. Those three guys just kicking him till he was in critical condition. Found, taken to the hospital, died. Yeah. Dead. Yeah, he probably would have been found right away. Yeah, it's just it's it's about his mental descent into I mean his descent into madness. Even though it's you know he was obviously this movie is also about the system and how it doesn't take care of our mental health citizens. Yeah, mm-hmm. I mean. Citizens with mental health issues, which, you know, from, yeah, I mean, like, I see that's true in a lot of cases, you know? I don't know, man. It's probably back then in the 70s or 80s was worse. I'd say this probably was in the 70s. 
Mm-hmm. 80s seem... There was VHS tapes. Too new. Oh. Well, VHS was... VHS was 70s, right? I don't think so. Right? Couldn't you buy, like, Star Wars on VHS in the late 70s? No, I don't think Definitely so. Definitely 80s, because it was out. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. But, uh... They could have been beta tapes, right? Weren't those bigger? They were at war with each other. Oh. My brother, he sided with every losing form of physical media in his entire life. You know that? You said something about this where like he went with like... He went beta. HD he, DVDs. He went HD DVDs. <laughs> he told me there's like a couple of them he went with, yeah. 81. 1981. All right, now we know. <laughs> it's close 70s. It was close. It was definitely... I was like, it can't be the 90s. But there was like some color TV he was watching too, though. Yeah. So I was like, well, maybe there is some color. I don't know. I, I like a lot of stuff. I like a lot of shots. Um, Music-wise, some of it... I don't know. It was a little weird, maybe? I'm not sure. Yeah, I, I love the music. Like When I heard like a really popular song, it, I was like, hmm. Like it's an it's interesting music choice because I felt like the whole thing would be like orchestrated, or condu- you know conducted yeah. or whatever. Yeah. Like the theme was great. Like when he's dancing in the ba- bathroom and when he's dancing at the end on the car. Yeah. yeah. That was great. Like the classical sounding kind of stuff. And yeah. That, um, stuff. that stuff was good. But like when I heard, I mean, I didn't dislike <laughs> the popular music. I was like, oh, I love the song, but is it appropriate? Well, I felt like it was, you know. I think it caught me off because it also didn't seem like time appropriate. I'm like, I'm pretty sure some of these songs are. Not here. Like, it was the one when he was going on the steps. Oh. That was, like, a more modern, like, 90s or 2000s song, I feel Eric like. Clapton? In a white room. No, not that. That's, that's a, I mean, that one's older. And that one kind of fits a little bit, too, because you go with, like, the white room and Arkham and yeah. different things like that, and it kind of can make some sense. But, no, it was, uh... Well, wait. I mean, Peaky Blinders, I guess you don't watch Peaky Blinders. They use contemporary music. Do they? Yeah, they do, and, like, there was a lot of argument <clears throat> about it, but they use it as good. Yeah. But these popular songs, and they like they'll re- like, just like a like semi charmed life. I haven't heard that. Do, 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 yeah, do, 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 do. They're stabbing each other. Do, 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 do. I mean, they they it's like recomposed and remixed. And okay, I like that. Yeah, like uh, what's that show we watch? Uh, fuck, it's Bernard, and the fucking androids. Westworld. Yeah, yeah, kind of like that. Okay, you know what I mean, that's cool. Like they can just kind of redo it in a different way. Yeah. I like I like that. Yeah, I think the one on the steps felt weird. To me, and I, I think maybe if they'd have had it, maybe like a remixed version of that, like okay, yeah, would have been better. But yeah, th- that about I, I think that was the only time that I was ever like, this is a weird music choice. I felt like everything okay. else kind of blended together really well. Okay, yeah. Okay, what about the big conversation at the end with Murray mm-hmm. and and Arthur and live TV, dude? That was a dude. That, yeah. you, you see Gene in the back, you going like. Yeah, I thought like Gina be so vindicated. I told you to put this fucking clown on TV. Yeah, right. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, Murray's like, all right, guys, we're going to take a commercial break. We'll be right back with more right after this. And you're like, all right, Arthur, we're going to, you know, we'll get here in just a second. And you're like, get security in there and take him away, you know? I can't believe he was able to get a gun on stage. I mean, I guess security's not as tight back in the 80s. Well, they didn't you know. have this shit happen all the time, probably, too. I mean, if you were in Gotham City and fucking people dying in the street, this guy wants to dress like a clown. I mean, yeah. he ain't got no gun. Maybe. Yeah. I don't know. But no, like, the the scene there, like, I don't know. Well, I mean, it's like, yeah, at that point, they're bringing Him coming the out theme the of the movie to its head, yeah. and it's like, well, like, like hey, you don't know me. Like, do you think your mental health, your, your mental illness is an excuse to kill these three these three young men? Because it sounds like to me you're making excuses, Arthur. And No. You know what I'm saying? So, like, how, you know, because that's a pretty valid, I think it's a very valid argument as well. But when you see it from our point of view, like, yeah, dude, he, if there are many paths in life, I feel like at least half, like half of them would probably would have gone here. Like, there's probably, you know, he, I mean, he had just a, da- he, had, he was dealt a bad hand, you know what I mean? And then he just, yeah, he had less options and less help and yeah. less money to get help and. Well, there's gotta and be then people who don't understand him and. There's only gotta a, be a point, like with the adoption and the mother and the boyfriend and all that, that. Had that not happened, I think there would have been a lot more options, more things that he could have gone with. But I think that really messed with him. Yeah. And really caused a lot of paths that he could have taken to close off. Does that make sense? Yeah. Like, I, don't, I, I would say, like, it's not 100%, like, in this situation of, like, well, you know, he had a bad hand, but he could have still come out better, and he could have been mayor. You know, like... Yeah. I don't think that could have happened. <laughs> mayor! <laughs> you know, I don't, I don't see that happening, but... Well, I, I just shocked the way it went down the way it did. He shot him on stage. Jeez, man, that was just so... Just... 
That, I, I can't believe he just smothered his mother. Yeah. yeah like, I really that. didn't think he would kill his mom. And then I was like, I hey, didn't, I, then, like, the letter, like, maybe the letter, oh, no. I guess I didn't think she survived the movie. I thought he had to be Joker in the end, and he couldn't have any material. And stuff. Yeah. I, I, I thought he... she would die, but I thought she would, like, you know, the stroke thing, something happened, she would die in the hospital, but not by his hand. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I, 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 I wouldn't have been able to think of, a, I guess, a great reason for her, because I was, I was thinking that she would die, and I would, you'd feel more bad for him, and he'd be more crazy, and you oh, I understand it. But instead he killed his mom because of the, I think, the really cool fucking scene where he's reading the letter and found out his mom's fucking nuts and he was abused and all this other stuff, man. Like, you, but like you, she caused him to be who he is, you know? Yeah, like, In what, a way. What, like what is the truth? I don't know. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's more she's crazy, but maybe they had a thing. You know what I mean? I mean, if mental illness, you know, can run in the family or anything, too, if, you know, she's crazy... To an extent of being put into Arkham, and it's not like a rich thing occurring, you know? It's not like, well, Thomas Wayne had money, so he was able to pull some strings, threw her in the hospital, covered up this, you know, illegitimate son or something like that, mm -hmm. and created some adoption papers to make her seem crazy. Yeah. Or is it just like, she adopted a kid, she was crazy, she abused this kid, and there it is, you know? Mm -hmm. Which, everything, I feel like we got... Points towards that, like the abuse and stuff, the kid being found tied to the radiator and all that. Like, I don't know if I want to think that Thomas Wayne wouldn't just be like, "Hey, here's my kid. Oh, he's tied to a radiator. Good." I feel like he would be like, "Well, put her in Arkham. I'm taking this kid. And he's gonna be mine." But thirty maybe, years ago, he was probably twenty. True. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, when you're twenty, think about you know the mistakes you make. Yeah. And I, I imagine, I don't know, dude. Like, you know, think you know when you're twenty, you, you, you know, you. You have sex with a crazy girl. It happens all the time. Like, but she was literally crazy. He might not knew at the time. You know what I'm saying? Because she was working and she seemed stable. That art, that stand-up comedy thing that was so goddamn cringy. Man, I felt so happy when he went up there and they did a thing and everyone's like, ha ha, and it just faded away and we had music. We're like, oh good. And it she went... fucking his girl smiling. Yeah, it's like it went okay. I'm happy. Yeah. Because even then, like she like the movie even robs me of that. The first joke he told, like she was kind of like. You know, like, well, smile. Like, <laughs> I'm know? here because I'm supporting my friend. You know? And that felt like a real reaction of, like, trying to support him. Not like, you know what, in my in my imagination, she's going to fake smile right now. <laughs> you know, <laughs> like... Yeah. Uh, but do they cover that back? Like, the joke of, uh, you know, when I was young, I said I want to be a comedian. Everyone laughed at me. I'm like, well, who's laughing now? <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. No uh, one. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> and oh, and maybe that's the joke of it. You know, like, maybe, like that joke is funny because of it not being funny. You know, like there's a humor in there more so of like... He didn't intend it that way. No, I don't think so no. either. But like I find it funny of being like, you know, I'm not funny. And that's the joke is like, who's laughing now? It's like when well, no one is. And, like, and just I'm Robert De Niro's like, his face. <laughs> <laughs> the face he does, it's so funny. Like, um, it's the same face, and obviously I've seen it before, but I remember the most growing up was Meet the Parents when Greg is talking about the vase. You got something in there, booga booga! And he's like, he's eating. <laughs> he always has that, like, kind of thing. I love this movie. It's not something I can imagine watching over and over again. No, yeah. It's, it feels uh, yeah, maybe kind of like tax a, well, it's taxing, right? It's like fucking the Shawshank Redemption. <clears throat> Never seen it. It's like, uh,. Schindler's List. Never, no, I've seen that one. I haven't seen it. Oh, you haven't? But I've heard it the oh, same, yeah. described the same way. Like, you, you don't watch that over and over again. Yeah, no. With your friends. No. You don't love a movie like this. You you submit to it, and it affects you. I remember watching that, like, eighth grade or something. Yeah. this movie. Yeah, you submit to this movie, and you just go... And it, but there, like, there were a couple, like, funny moments, though. It's yeah. always involved in meeting people, unfortunately. I love when he scares... Unfortunately, that's always been my I love humor. when he scares Gary. <laughs> Gary fucking Gary... Yeah. <laughs> it's okay, Gary. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. <laughs> I, I, you know I, what I would love is if that was like uh, improvised by Walking Phoenix. <laughs> <laughs> like it wasn't planned. <laughs> yeah. It was yeah. like, they talked to me. <laughs> and, he, you know, he said he was, you know, a midget. You'd be in fucking jail. <laughs> you know, it was so mean, dude. And, like, because I got a buddy real fucking short. I got to use that miniature golf thing on him. You know what I'm saying? Did they call it golf? They call it miniature golf? Or just golf? 
Yeah, yeah. Just certainly everyone should see this movie. Yeah. You know, I mean, if if you know, if you're over eighteen, I guess. But I think it's good. I think, I think it's very. It, it's not good in the sense of like, oh, I feel happy and stuff. Yeah. You no, know, it's it's just it's a kind of. It's good. not like when I walked out of Rise of Skywalker or you know Avengers Endgame, like this um, incredible feeling of accomplishment. I feel honestly just a little more. I don't know, stripped and probably a little more empathetic and yeah. sad. I wish, I truly wish we did this at the end of the day because it's going to affect me the rest of the day. The rest of the day. If Rick fucking knew that, he should know we should have done it. We should have done it last. <sighs> but yeah, dude, love the movie. Um, Walking Phoenix is amazing. Yeah. I know there's been some chatter about a sequel. I don't really know how you do a sequel, but I imagine they won't and Walking Phoenix wouldn't do it unless it was good. Yeah, they, 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 they're going to bring back Batman v Superman's Batman. This is his Joker. That's why. Well, they, I, I that's why he was named what he was. What's the name? Of his the name was Fleck. Joker. Uh, Arthur Fleck. A Fleck. Affleck. Ben Affleck. Batman. I said we hit the button right there. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this movie reaction and or commentaries, we have more of those every week. Every Make week. sure you subscribe so you don't miss out. And you can see the next movie, I believe, commentary right over at patreoncom blindwave. And while you're there, make sure you look at the poll because you can vote on the next movies that are coming every week right over at patreoncom blindwave.